This is aldehyde. It is CH2OH. OH hydrogen. Hydrogen OH. Then OH hydrogen. This is a Fisher projection. It is a Fisher projection formula. In Fisher projection formula, this is the bottom most chiral center. At bottom most chiral center, the OH is right side. So that is the reason why it is known as what? D-glucose. D-glucose. When we construct the mirror image of this, It's a mirror image is aldehyde CH2OH one, two, three, four. OH hydrogen OH here is also OH then H OH, hydrogen, then here is hydrogen. So this is the bottom most chiral center. At this chiral center, the more electronegative group is left side. So that is the reason why this is known as what? L-glucose. L-glucose. So therefore, D and L-glucose are D glucose and L glucose D and L glucose are enantiomers these two are known as what enantiomers means non superimposable mirror images to virginal mirror images to each another so that is the reason why these two are known as what enantiomers First one, second one, second one, aldehyde, CH2OH, OH hydrogen, HOH, OH hydrogen. This particular form is known as D glucose. D glucose aldehyde CH2OH. It is HOH. Third carbon OH is left. Fourth carbon OH is right. Fifth carbon OH is also what? Right. Now this is the second carbon. Here OH is right side. Here second carbon OH is what? Left. This is left side. This is what? Right side. So the remaining chiral center configuration is remains same. So that is the reason why this is D mannose. D mannose. So these two are a pair of diastereomers. A pair of diastereomers means non superimposable, non mirror images to each other. So, pair of diastereomers which are differ in the configuration except to C1 carbon. Except to C1 carbon known as what? Epimers. So, therefore, D glucose. D glucose and D mannose D mannose are are C2 epimers C2 epimers epimers and diastereomers and these are which one diastereomers Okay, so 
you know about the term of dash stereomers enantiomers anomers and epimers the next one in carbohydrates the first uh, carbohydrate monosaccharides in that the first monosaccharide is d glucose monosaccharides example for monosaccharide is glucose example for this one is d glucose d glucose right the first one is preparation preparation of glucose number 1 from maltose from maltose from maltose c12 h22o11 this is known as maltose hydrolysis in presence of acid medium to form two molecules of glucose two moles of which one glucose is formed second one is inversion inversion of cane sugar inversion of cane sugar nothing but sucrose this means sucrose c11 c12 h22o11 this is known as cane sugar okay generally it is dextrorotary now react react with water or hydrolysis in presence of acid medium c6 h2o6 one unit of glucose plus another unit of fructose okay this is the second method third method is from starch from starch from starch c6 h10 o5 there is n starch is a polysaccharide hydrolyzed in presence of acid medium it is a polysaccharide hydrolysis it gives n moles of c6h12o6 to form which one glucose to form which one glucose okay so these are the preparative methods of which one glucose